The AudioThing Wires is a plugin which is an accurately modeled and enhanced 1970s Soviet wire recorder and delay, which is owned by German composer and YouTuber Heinbach. Hi, I'm Malen and welcome to the White Noise Studio. In functionality, the Wires plugin is very similar to a tape machine and tape delay. The main difference is that instead of tape, it uses a wire for its audio recording and playback. This means the audio is much more restricted in its bandwidth and much more pronounced in a certain frequency area. Think of a band passing cue, only way more complex and involved. The wire gives it a very unique sound and the modeled unit is a tube unit, so tube saturation is also a big part of its sound. There are two ways to use this plugin. The first is to use it as a saturation and distortion type style plugin. Let's use it on this loop. Let me raise the input gain and output gain. You can already see the tube emulation working. This is a dirty sounding plugin. You cannot get a clean tone out of this one. The first control is somewhat similar as what you expect of a tape machine plugin. That is the flutter and wow control. The drops dial determines how much the signal breaks up by volume loss. Clicks will dial how much the degraded signal will turn into clicks. And here is the tilt EQ dial. You have a center frequency and by turning the dial you will either increase the low end and reduce the high end or increase the high end and reduce the low end. You can add machine like noise here with the hiss and motor dials if you are looking for that sort of vibe. The envelope filter works as a very slow gate. So when there is sound you hear the noise and when there is no sound there is also no noise. And there is a microphone and speaker emulation. There is enough to tweak in a dirty lo-fi sound. AudioThing was smart enough to add a mix control so you can dial in the dirty wire sound as much as you need to add vibe. The soft clip switch turns soft clipping on or off if you need that. There's also a fun start stop effect in this plugin. This works best when the mix is fully wet. The speed dial controls how quickly the effects start and stops and you turn it on and off here. And there's a funny easter egg when you click on the reels. Now the second way this plugin can be used is as a delay effect, a wire delay effect. Let's focus purely on the sound of the delay by turning the dry wet to fully wet. By itself is a pretty simple delay and mono. It has tons of vibe though due to the sound of this plugin. It's syncable to the tempo of the project. The feedback sets the number of repeats you have and level thus the volume of the delay. Now like any other good tape style delay plugin, this can go into self oscillation and you can create really cool dub style effects with that. Switching the time is also really fun and sounds so good it deserves to be played around with in mixes.
The Mix Wet switch lets you switch between the delay signal only or the dry signal with the delay added on it. The dry signal is the sound going to this plugin. So if you want the original sound as is and use the wires plugin pure as a delay, switch to wet and dial in the dry wet here when used as an insert or use the plugin as a send effect with the switch also set to wet. Tons and tons of vibe and character. Subtle tape style effects is not his thing. For that, you have to check out the video displayed on screen right now. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.